Fit for Life Radio, episode number 202. Gary here. Will here. And today we're talking about the surprising benefits of barely moving. Just a little, just a touch. Research review through the PN Academy. And pretty interesting. The outcome. We love a good good outcome. I love a good outcome <laughs> for sure. And this this one too, people will find interesting because it's related to children. Yep. And then as they get into teenagers and mm-hmm. young adults, so yep. it's pretty dope to see the the transition and and what happens and why. So, the they did a study with young people. <laughs> young I was say kids, but it's not. His, so it's they kind of track people <clears throat> at different ages 11 like, 15 and 24 mm-hmm. so like 24 is not a kid right i mean they kind of are the older you get the more it is yeah like a kid so and they tracked them with accelerometers can i correct you on that please accelerometer <laughs> i'm working on four hours of sleep you're good man i got you i got you, you know i'm here for the other day Lack of sleep, I freaking cut, almost cut off my thumb with a knife. I was opening a box, and you know how they say, you know, your your brain, your brain's not, your brain, your brain is not clicking, and I opened the box, right, mm-hmm. and then when I went to kind of pull the box apart, you I, still, I was, I, I, holding I still? switched hands with the knife to hold, and like just grab the knife, like it was a, like, like it was a toy? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that's how often You could have lost and it, then, dude. And then it just... Right there. Have you ever, like, cut, like, the tip of your finger off or anything? No. It's freaky. I mean, if it was... Luckily, I was, like, you know, just kind of grabbing it. If it was... I mean, you see where it was right yeah. there. Yeah. It would have been a clean cut, though. Like, cutting um, a, a chicken wing. And and then when I, when I did that, so the box I was opening was we... Uh, got like a little safe to put important documents in. Mm-hmm. It's funny how you do like, I'll let my birth certificate burn, you know, but you got like all, all this baby stuff. You're like, damn, I got to keep it safe. So I got one of those like little safe boxes, right? We got one of those. It's like, like a fire. fireproof. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, so then oh, I cut my hand like off. Oh, so this is pretty bad. It's bleeding and you can see where it's open. And so I, and then I sit the safe box on the little coffee table, but it's like on the edge of the coffee table. <sighs> So then, like, seven, five seconds later, you just hear this, because then I, then I, walk, clatter. I walk away, and you hear this just massive boom, you know, because those things are heavy. They're, and, yeah, they're, man, they're. And, dense, and, it, and then, you know, the whole house, the dog, Alexis, they're like, what was that? You know, and I was like, oops. Whoops. And my, my, that's just off, man. It's off. Was the box fine? Yeah. Yeah, those things are pretty. Yeah. Pretty I was more hefty. worried about the floor. It fell on, like, the hardwood floor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But damn, man, you need to tighten up. I know. Cut your, that's a bad place to cut yourself. You guys can't see it, but it's like in the little, like mm-hmm. the nook of his thumb. <laughs> like it's, it's so mobile, like the band aid was hard to stay well, on. Like the, it moves so much. Mm-hmm. That's worse than probably than between any of your other, well, I don't know, and between your other yeah. fingers sucks too. But, anyways. So, yeah. You got, a, you got baby brain, dude. Tractor, physical activity. At different time points. And then they sorted the data into three categories of movement behavior. So there was sedentary time, which was essentially they're awake but inactive. So sitting in a car. Like chilling. Sitting in class, playing video games, scrolling TikTok. Then you had light physical activity, which is you're up and moving. So you're kind of doing chores. You're walking. Not even like a specific like i'm going for a 30 minute no walk. like you're just puttering you might be walking to class walking you're kind of playing around with a pet something like that and then moderate to vigorous physical activity so this is stuff like a little extra effort so it could be gym class soccer practice doing yard work going for a hike or like walk vigorous walk um, so those are the three categories right and then as you would assume the average, so the average seven, sedentary time increased by a whopping three hours a day. So from around six hours at 11 years old to 
nine hours at 24 years old. Right? So we become more... Nine hours? Well, that makes sense. More sedentary. So through, we end up sitting, doing nothing for three extra hours, right? From 11 years old to 24 years old. And then the average light physical activity declined also by three and a half hours. So we're trading. Keep that one in mind. Light physical well, for not, sedentary. Not even the light physical dropped three and a half hours and the yeah the sedentary yeah you're right yeah <laughs> sedentary increased and by three my brand you said that which was <laughs> the most simple thing ever and you started doing calculus dude just cartwheels no, yeah so exactly basically trading right light physical activity for sedentary and then the average moderate to vigorous physical activity at 11 years old was around 68 minutes for boys 46 minutes for girls and at 24 it pretty much stayed the same like 54 minutes for guys and about the same for for females right so, so vigorous didn't the, change much yeah and what happened right so pretty much yeah strong connection like you would assume each minute per day of sedentary time was associated with oh and side note obviously as they grew up and f- filled out like of course they're going to gain fat and lean mass yeah um from the time you're you know, 11, 13 years old to 24. But then with that, um, you know, as they get older, they notice the, what what was the body composition, right? So some people, as they get 24, they have more fat than others, right? And less, maybe less muscle. Um, so with each minute, the connections they were able to make, each minute per day of sedentary time was associated with a 1.3 gram increase in body fat. Conversely, each minute per day of moderate to physical or vigorous (laughs) i'm struggling we're gonna get through we got this moderate to phys uh (laughs) to vigorous was linked to the opposite a 1.3 gram decrease in fat right so if you're able to maintain that sedentary and vigorous time uh basically you're able to maintain all three of them right like you're probably going to end up in a good spot. So what's the crux here? The crux was, and this was the biggest surprise of the study, as you just saw, well, the vigorous, moderate vigorous was about the same. So that basically means that the each minute per day of light activity was linked to a 3.6 gram decrease in fat. So like three times as much impactful as the vigorous and moderate, right? Mm-hmm. And, and then as we saw, people were basically trading their light for the sedentary. And so the, the reality is it was not so much the huffing and puffing and vigorous stuff that people need more of as, as why, you know, as we age and, and we pack on the body fat, essentially, it's the, the light. It's just the, the moving the, and the grooving. Ra- the random movement. Right. Yeah. Getting up, going and doing the dishes, walking around. Like, that's it. Yeah. And you know, the first connection I made was, and we've talked about this before, and people just, dude, it's over or underestimated so much. Think about something as simple as the fact that that we have the grub hubs and food deliveries, right? So now... it, those are the minutes that actually count from where at least if you if you're going out to eat, you had to walk to your car, get out of your car, walk to the restaurant, you know, and you're wa- like you walk eat, in the restaurant. Just even those little like that's the now light. we got none of it if you choose. It's all getting delete and then and then you factor in um, work from home. Yeah, right. So yeah, so it, you're not like at work. You walk into work. You might get up, do you know, get mm-hmm. some water, take a bathroom break, whatever. When you're at work. Now, like, you can sit on your couch Mm -hmm. or at your desk, whatever, and you could do all of your work and you could order your food and you just have to get up and go to your front door and that's your minimal light activity and that's it. Yeah. And here's, again, we're extrapolating to, like, an older population. The study was done with, but the reality is if it it had that effect in early 20-year-olds, Oh yeah, you know. I mean, think think about like that compounding over time. Yeah, because that's bare minimum. That like those types of things stay the same in terms of like you know the, how much fat mass you gain or mm-hmm. whatever. But it probably gets worse mm-hmm. as you get older and you start to lose muscle mass. And so yeah, that's in my opinion, that's probably best case scenario. Yeah, and then it gets worse as we age. So then listen, and again fr- from this, it's triple right. 
the, the assumption is that if you went and tried to increase your moderate to vigorous activity, it may be connected to a 1.3 gram movement, right, of your body fat, whereas the light activity, 3.6, right? And people yeah, so just have to like, get out of their head. So, so let's paint the picture, right? Paint it. So, you know, if you're... Well, we'll just, I mean, this is younger people, so, but say you're 24 years old or you're 34 years old or you're 44 years old and you're like, man, I want to improve my body composition. I want to lose some fat, right? And you, like the hour a day at most of working out, like trying to like make that harder or make more of that is not as beneficial as what if you're, what are you getting like 3000 steps the rest of the day, barely moving every other m- moment you look for a chance to take the easy way out. Right. When the reality is, yeah, have that baseline of moderate to vigorous activity. Cause we'll get to that in a sec. There's again, and we have, there's plenty of benefits for that. Exactly. Like for like, Hey, you need to challenge your, your muscles and your ligaments and your joints and your butt, like it, tons of benefits to do that. But the point is for fat loss, you know, body composition improvement, Once you have that box checked, if you're then spending a ton of time and extra effort on that, and your goal again is health improvement, you know, body composition, and you're ignoring your need, your non-exercise activity, that's where the biggest room for improvement Mm -hmm. is. Yeah. And that's that's where most people lack. And people don't want to hear this. So just go get more steps. Go for a light walk. That's the, the best thing you could do. Park further away. Dude, that's my number one. I'm a far parker. I always have been. Mm-hmm. And it's worse after buying a new car. But like, I don't care. I'll park in the back of the lot. Because yeah. it's if you think about it, like, unless you're in a hurry, you're like on the way, mm-hmm. you're like, I got to be fast. Like, you don't have like a deadline generally. Yeah. Like, just park far away. It's a, at most a minute to walk mm-hmm. into the store. And like, that just gave you a little more activity. Yeah. And that stacks as we do that more often. And again, it's, it is, it's easy and it's not right. Cause the reality is it's simple. You, the, it's the volume of time, right? Like you're talking, there's three hours of that light activity in, in this group, in this study that was gone. So the reality is, yeah, like you, you couldn't vigorously exercise an extra three hours anyway. No, right? it's just not going to work. Um, We're not going to be able to handle that in logistics. Like most people, well, you got to like be somewhere and you need, so the whole point is, um, we're just way more sedentary and that, that chunk and we also know this too, you wouldn't be able to recover. That's the other thing. Like yeah. the light activity doesn't put a dent in your stress and recovery. It actually helps boost it. So again, like you got to find that t- time, find that movement. Like look, start looking at like your, Hey man, if you can go to, instead of just sitting at home and ordering food and you, instead you go to the grocery store. Well, now you're also getting a bunch of steps. You know, what's funny. I will kind of know what to expect. And sometimes this happens like multiple times, I always forget. And some days I'll look and be like, why were my steps so much more today? I didn't do nothing different. And it's always, you want grocery shopping. I want grocery shopping, you know? And I mean, be, th- those are impactful. And you, yeah. So, and think about it. If you go grocery shopping and especially if you're, <laughs> even though I know what I want, but you always forget one or two things mm-hmm. and you're like walking across you the store and back and forth. And then when you think about it, that could be 20, 30 minutes of walking movement. Right. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, having a dog helps, right? Oh, then you got to get your dog out and you're out on your feet and that's all oh, another 30 minutes. Right. And then you purposefully maybe, Hey, go, f- go for a walk. Well, there you go. There's now there's an hour and a half of light activity that, that you, that would have been sedentary time. What if you didn't go get groceries and you just sat on your phone? What if you didn't go walk the dog? You just let them run around the yard. Right. And you just sat on your phone. <laughs> what if you, um, yeah, you chose not to go for a walk. Right. And I mean, that, that's how it adds up. Right. And if you think you're going to go to the gym and you have this hour there and, and you're going to hit it hard, you know what? I'm just going to go harder and, and I'm going to end up in a bigger pool of sweat and more pain. And that's going to be the difference. You can't do it. No, nah. you can't dig yourself out of the hole with just that super intense hour or so. It just, yeah, it doesn't work. You're going to be, you're running uphill. Like it, it's super hard to do. Yep. And again, so like, what are the takeaways, right? Something's better than nothing. Always. Right. And next time you're just sitting there doing nothing, go for a walk, right? Start, start looking at your day and opportunities where you could have moved a little more. Mm-hmm. 
you know? And again, it's always going to be a, a battle against comfort for sure. Yeah. I mean, there's so many opportunities for comfort mm-hmm. now. A- anything can be comfort. You know, we can order anything we want, come straight to us. We, we can, don't ever have to yeah. go to the store. We can make money from home. Like, so you, you have to create it a little Tem- bit. Temperature. You yeah. know, right now it's cold out. You know, it's easy to be like, ah, it's, it's cold. Except today. But You know, so yeah, <laughs> 70. Surprise 70 for two days. But um, yeah, overall, like, you, it's not going to be easy. Mm-hmm. Because it's like being comfortable feels better. Yeah. But once you start to do it as part of your day, you realize how you feel and the impact yeah. it has. It gets easier, but you still have to stay on top of it and remind yourself, like, I do need to move. Because mm-hmm. it's not, you know, some people intrinsically do it. They have no problem. But a lot of people, it's just, you know, not something we always think about. Yeah. And essentially, really the goal is, like, just don't be sitting still for for long periods of time. Yeah. And again, it doesn't have to be like, you're not going to do something intense. You don't have to go for a run. You could get up, go vacuum a room or go wipe some stuff off. It yeah. could be as simple as that. And the reality is through this study, a run would be considered moderate, moderate to vigorous. To, to vigorous. And the, the reality is like, it, it wouldn't be as impactful. Exactly. You know? Because again, and I, I think we've talked about this, I think you only have but so much bandwidth to benefit from moderate to vigorous activity. I think so too. Right? So if you have to have more of it, you have to have other more, then you may need more like your diet has to be on point. Your sleep has to be on yeah. point because it's just more stress and you have to have more recovery capability. And then all and, of those things, like that's substantially more effort Yeah, to do all of that versus like the opposite where you could just go for a walk. Walk around Home Depot. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the mall. Mall walk. Hey, look, I used to crap on mall walking, but let's yeah, get it when started it's raining, again. I know. Let's I, go. I've thought about it. Dude, Cause, you want to meet up at mall walk? You know why? Because when... Me, you, and Diego. <laughs> yeah, you get in a good groove going for... Dude, walking on the treadmill, right? And it's cool. The, the cool thing about the treadmill is you can hike up the incline, get a little extra boost. But to, I don't know, man. This is going to sound super, super nuanced, but like... I already know what you're going to say. I'm, it, it feels like I'm just, what you are, you're just lifting your feet, mm-hmm. right? Right. When you're walking. You're not propelling yourself you're forward. Prope- it's just different. It's different and for your brain. Yeah. Propelling yourself forward is, it, it, it does something in your brain. I feel so much better after like walking for mm-hmm. real. And then when it rains, I'm like, because I, I can, the temperatures are fine, right? And you know what? I don't even, look, I don't have hair. I don't care. Like I, I can wear a jacket. You know what bothers me with walking in the rain? It's the shoes, man. I agree. You know, you know when they you get need, all, You need rain shoes, I mean, bro. Tighten but, but here's up. the problem. So I have some like waterproof like boots, right? You don't want to walk in those. Though. I, yeah, you know. Well, let's. Why don't you get some Crocs? Kidding. You know what's funny? <laughs> hey, you know what's funny? I don't have nothing to show to show you proof, but I'll get some. So, dude, this is so perfect. Nine, ten months ago, Alexis's mom got her. Where we were all we've anti Croc. Yeah. And her, her mom got her some Crocs because she's like, you know, you're going to be pregnant and stuff like that. And like she and she like has her own Crocs and loves them. Right. And got them for Alexis and and even got like a little Harry Potter pen, a little field hockey pen, you know, everything. And then she. Hey, what do they call those? I don't know. Pens. It's like it's close to giblets. Oh, OK. This is, yeah. I, don't, I don't know if that's what it is, but it's a real, really weird word. So and Alexis never warm. Never. She just refused, right? And I was like, "What, a, you know?" A waste. And then, and that was before, right? When she got pregnant, right? So, 10, 11 months ago. And then, you know, lately with the baby, you know, we're up at all times, and like Arnie's kind of his schedule's off, so sometimes he goes out because we're up like in the middle of the night, mm-hmm. and it's, it had been raining a lot lately. And I have these like, um, Ber- Birkenstocks mm-hmm. sandals, yeah, but they're like old, and I've been. I, like replace them and then when i go out in the and it's wet they get damp and just they're just nasty right mm-hmm. and then her crocs are always sitting there right you put them on you, you took them for a like, test drive let me let me slide these on and they're a little small right that like i could barely get my like i couldn't get my whole foot in there but i just enough to where you could i could go outside and stand and let the dog out and kind of poke around the yard and i was like oh the, these are like real wide i was like these are these are nice and then they're rubber, right? Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, like, they're not going to get all damp, you know? And you just brought, and I was like, funk. So right then I was like, and then my Burks are like, because I like the suede ones. Mm-hmm. 
You can't take those outside. There's like 150 bucks too. And I really only wear them for that. Yeah. Like to go out in the backyard when it's wet and the dog and, and then uh, in the beach. Right. And I was like, well, Crocs, they'd they'd be fine for those two things. Right. So I was like, man, functionally these make a lot of sense. And then I pull them up and sucked in and they were like 50 bucks. Yeah. And I was like, so then yeah, yesterday, yeah, yesterday, I look up, go to the a little shoe store over by Trader Joe's. It's like shoe festival or something mm-hmm. like that. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And yeah, they got all these Crocs. I'm like, this place would have like all the Crocs. Yep. And yeah, dude, they had, hey, they had three different shades of gray. <laughs> so I'm standing there looking like a psychopath. Hey, were you wearing gray? Yeah. Yeah, gray shirt on. And I'm trying, <laughs> hey, I'm trying to figure out which ones I want, you know? Went with the, they were called Atmosphere. <sighs> that yep. makes a lot of sense. And yeah, came home in Alexis. I was like, look, look at these bad boys. And she was just like, I haven't even worn mine. You know, I was like, hey, you got to throw them on. They're legit. Damn, bro. So, they got you. So yeah. They got you. Where were we with this? I don't know, but now you're. <sighs> so that's that. So yeah, I have some Crocs. You're a Croc. Now, but you know what? Hey, if you start showing up to like team meetings with Crocs on, we're going to have to talk. But I would never, for one, they're ugly. Yeah. For two, I feel like a teenager. That's, things, but things change. Functionally. But this is the overriding. You start and, wearing your pajama the, pants, I too. I am 39, almost 40, and a dad, so you start valuing Function. functionality. So I'm, I'm like, dude, these are perfect for this, and they're going to be great for the beach. You know why they're great for the beach? So you know why I hate... Because sand gets in your shoes. My, yeah, in, the, in my, my Burks, like, when you walk in the sand, there's no... They're kind of like like... They can come off, slide off easily. Mm-hmm. Well, the Crocs, they got the little sport mode. Put them in sport mode. Secure. And I was like, man, well, I'm going to be able to walk in the sand with these, and they'll stay on. You really sold yourself on these. <laughs> I had to. Because <laughs> I was so anti-Croc. Oh, man. Um, you know, they, they make other shoes like Crocs. And you could have got. But you know what? Now Crocs are so like ingrained; they are kind of almost like a classic. You know, they are. And now I so this is me talking myself into it. Like your Vans, right there, I can appreciate. I think they're a, a classic. A classic. They are a classic. I think they've. They're gonna be there. Hey, I'm about to get a pair of these. You ready? Come on, load. Actually, might. <laughs> Dog walking shoes. Come on, bro. Oh, that's where we were. That's right. You said get Crocs walking in the hey. rain. You know what? You know, you know what? I saw those like a month and a half ago, and I was going to send them to you. I will wear those. So you know, I'm may, buying a pair. Why would? Well, definitely want to wear socks, right? Walking with them in the rain. Nah. So maybe I'll try them. But anyways, oh, well, that's where we were mall walking. So then, <laughs> then when I get back, and I was like, so then I'm like, all right, I'm gonna have to go walk on a treadmill or something, right? I'm gonna get my walk, and then I'm like, ah, I just hate it. So then I was like, you know what? I wonder, I, I was like, I literally almost was going to do it. And actually at the time I thought more Diego cause I like was driving past his house or, you know, and I was like, I wonder if Diego would go mall walk with me, but now I know Will will. I'll do it. And just, especially too, you almost appreciate, you know, the mall's not open yet, like the stores and it's gonna be all quiet. And I was like, man, like I could go get a 30 minute mall walk in and beep, beep, be good. So there, so there we are. So find ways to not just sit all the time, right? And that light activity is key. And then also, hey, this this was with kids, right? I know a lot of people are concerned for their kids, you know. And and yeah, we have a boom also in obesity and like teenagers and stuff. Uh, yeah. And the reality is, you may not need to stress so much about, do, you know, do they need to be pay, playing like football team and or do they need to be working out at a gym four like, hours of practice no like they just need to be moving right go play <laughs> get at least pokemon go yeah something you know hey it gets you outside and walking and, and yeah. yeah i agree get them a um <clears throat> what are those little like flying little pet like chinchilla things or something something some animal that gets you moving a flying pet <laughs> yeah you gotta chase it around <laughs> Because dogs can get lazy, too. Yeah. And if you let them be lazy, then they will. Oh, they want it, man. <laughs> so they're like people. They are. You got to get something wild, man. A lizard. <laughs> Where's that lizard? Go find the lizard. Oh, God. I don't know, man. But that's that's the difference is that uh, that light activity. Just move around. 
you know? Move around. It, that's, <sighs> But it does, and we'll say this because it's like we're picking on everyone. When you when you do it, see it kind of in the study, like you, like you mentioned, it, it's like this swap of like three hours of light activity to sedentary time. And the reality is our adult lives have us, because of work, because of the nature of a lot of work and stuff, like – in a way, we are kind of asking you to find like three three hours of light of movement, right? And for a lot of people, that's that flips the script. You know, that's 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 you know, and yeah, you could have to be at work for eight hours sitting in a chair, right? Yep. And you could have, you know, and then you're sleeping, right? And then you know, you got it. It could be hard to like find that movement, right? So. I would say don't stress yourself out. Just do any little bit. Any little any bit, little yeah. Bit. And just try to, like, bake it into your day. Like, mm-hmm. it, it, you know, people have been saying it for years, but, like, parking far away, that's the best way to do it. Take the freaking stairs if you have the opportunity to. You know, those little things do add up, and they do make a big difference. And it gets easier to make that choice Yeah. the more often you do it. It just becomes kind of what you do. So then those things are ingrained in your day. So you're already kind of baking that in, and it gets easier to do your little movement all throughout mm-hmm. so yeah just those those things do help and just it's not going to be perfect but just try to remember anytime you can and you know try to get a little extra out of your day yeah and that's where um tracking like steps can be helpful right because it kind of like i was tracking your movement right so it can give that's like the best kind of scorekeeper barometer um yeah i'm a fan and then remember too with that there's always the goal everyone says like oh take ten thousand steps Mm -hmm. just take more than you're taking now yeah that's really it if you're taking two thousand steps maybe shoot for three or four thousand yeah and then just try to improve a little bit without setting this lofty goal because sometimes that feels way too out of reach like oh i need to transform my day i'm going to spend all the time walking but if you just up at a thousand it's not really that much more yeah but you're still doing better yep and that's how you can keep score right Mm mm-hmm Get to moving. Get to get to mall walking. Mall walking. Mall walking. So I wonder, looking at it, I mean, it's it's pretty obvious, right? Like you're like okay, from between eleven year old and a twenty four year old, and in general, and then the, they're seeing right, like eleven year olds, why are, you know are strugg- can be struggling with their body composition. So you're like. We know they're still doing, say, like, yeah, an hour of gym class. And some aren't even doing that, right, or a sport or, or something vigorous, but in that difference of the light. So w- the sedentary time, like, what's causing the shift, right? And it's obvious because it's – and you think back, I mean, I played a lot of video games when I was that age, but I still did s- so much m- more, right? Like – and. It's the phones. It's the phones. Because think about it. You, that's, that's what I was getting at. Will waved his phone in the air. And like, because before, if you went to play video games, you had to be at your TV with your, you know, game station. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it, like that was that. And then when you left it, it wasn't there with you. Yep. You know, and, and now you have your phone everywhere with you. Your phone does it so all. you can pop a squad anywhere. You can play games on it. You can you scroll can, TikTok. TikTok. You can... And endlessly. Mm-hmm. Endlessly scroll TikTok and Instagram and... And if you start when you're younger, that's the other thing. I didn't really start... We didn't really start playing video games until we were... I don't know, like 12, 13, when they were coming about. But then, like, you had a whole foundation of being able to entertain yourself when you're bored and like playing and mm-hmm. move and stuff. So whereas or now go clean your room, <laughs> you could start when you're two, three, four years old. Yeah. And your foundation is complete screen time. Mm-hmm. You never even established playing, moving, a, a way walk, to do anything moving, else. going, you know, going around the neighborhood and, and, and for safety reasons, you almost can't, but, um, then that's another factor too, right? Like, you can't just go a lot like places and walk and move and bike ride. So um, it's tough. Yeah, it's the, you're up against it now. And it comes down to all our nutrition conversations. It, it's environmental. Mm-hmm. You know, and a lot of people want to think they're like, nah, like people were pretty the same, right? And like, yeah, it's, but why, the, why are there so many differences this generation? Like, is it our, you know, I, I think most of it is it's environmental. Just, our environment's changed so much. Our mo- look, we just described our, movement environment is such a uphill battle to even have light activity because mm-hmm. it's all 
the need for it's been stripped away. And then same thing, our food environment, right? And then you couple that with, and then the food is easily accessible, right? So we barely need to move and it's easier to get food. Where you go not too long ago to get food, you had to move. Yep. At light levels, right? I think so, so, so much people get caught up with like exercise. They need exercise to lose weight. Like, you don't. Nah. You just need to move more. No, nah, we need exercise to provide a stimulus to our muscles, joints, ligaments, and heart. And you only need a little. Mm-hmm. You need a dose. There's a, a dose. I think there's a ceiling for that. Yeah. Right? <laughs> there's a capacity. Speaking of a dose, you know what I saw recently? And I'm like, this is this is really bothering me now. You know how in like movie, we were watching the, some TV show? And, like, some, the dude has some sickness or something. And you know when people freaking take a pill case mm-hmm. and they drink it? They, they, they pour it down their gullet? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what kind of pills are, are, we, are we taking? When they're taking, like, three or four of them at a time? <laughs> yeah, they're, like, literally. Hey, <laughs> hey was it, um, like a cartoon? did you watch um, on Netflix? <laughs> yeah. It was, um, <laughs> well, God, what is it called? Oh, Fool Me Once? Yeah. Dude, he was just slamming those things that, back. That was exactly it. I was watching it last night. I was like, we were saying the same thing. But like, then I saw it somewhere else. How many else? is he taking? What is it? And I'm like, oh, and he's like, what are they? What? He's just taking them back. He'd take like five or six yeah. at a time. Because look, that's a real life show. That, or they're trying to be realistic. And I'm thinking, okay. <laughs> what prescription pills is in a prescription pill bottle? Are we chugging? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, because I know when I'm taking it out, I'm reading the label five times to make sure, okay, it's half a pill, you know, every four hours. And then, you know, you're taking it out. Just a little (laughs) swig, man. Take a swig of pills. They're just swigging it. I think I saw some other cop show, you know, where it's the same thing. Like, they're just chugging a freaking pill case. And I'm like, what what are we doing here? Taking sips through the day. What pills are people taking? I need to know, man. I'm going to look that up. It's funny you said that. It caught us off guard, too. (laughs) <laughs> he makes it, and he's like passing out everywhere. Yeah. It's like stop taking the pills like that, man. Like, come on, bro. Well, it, you know, it turns out like you know, there's maybe something wrong with them. Yeah, but like take them as intended, please. And that's my big thing. Like, is, I, here's what I want to know: Is there a pill that is okay to just to just slam chug, it to just slam? <sighs> so there's not. I wouldn't even take multivitamins like hey, that. Hey, they were just mints. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll, so, but I want to know where in the in the script, where, where in Hollywood did um, we just start, s- decide, you just know what? Just throwing them back. We're going to do this. Um, oh, God. Where were we going with that? Not a clue. But that. <laughs> Slamming them pills back, man. Drinking them pills. It's a good show, though. I enjoyed it. Sedentary time. Just sitting around slamming pills. I don't know. I think that's it. That's all I got. That's all I got. Hopefully that helps get that light physical just activity. Just a little light. And remember, light means literally just moving yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is it. There's no real standard to like, you got to go crush it or, you know, go for a vigorous walk. No, nah, like just tinker around. Tinker. Tinker. Putter. Go to the, go, go get groceries. Go get groceries. Ordering food to go your house. Go vacuum your living room. Yeah. That's it. Go walk your pet lizard. Walk your lizard. Your your bird, Just pigeon fly, flying next to you, pigeon. You know Diego's dad; he has a bunch of pigeons. Yeah. That's a commitment. Yeah. I don't know. Go play frisbee with yourself. <laughs> with, <laughs> with yourself, yeah. I can see Ben doing that. Just throw it, and then go get it and throw it back. Dude, nah. I was always outside playing though. Yeah, we had like a basketball hoop, mm-hmm. so I just go shoot hoops out in the driveway. Those steps, them steps though, them steps. All right, that's it. All right, 202 in the books. See ya. As always, thanks for listening, guys. If you want to learn more, check us out at coastalfitnessva.com or garydeagle.com. We'll see you next time.